Hi there, it's Kelly and today I'm going to teach you how to create your own product categories. Now what this tool does is that it allows you to organize and categorize products into groups which can actually help to make it easier for your customers to navigate and search for products in your online store. Alright, so let's get started. In terms of setting up a product collection, there are actually two steps to this. So the first one is we will need to first create the collection and then the second step is to add products into the collection. Alright, so once you're logged in, what we want to click on is products and under products, we'll see this tab called collections. Let's click on that and you'll notice that if you have any existing collections, then it will be here. So you can actually check on its visibility. So whether or not this collection is actually visible in your online store and you can also um, see the number of products that are allocated under these collections. So to create a new collection, what we want to do is click on this add collection button on the top right corner. And then we will need to fill in some details here. In terms of the title, it will be the title of this collection. So for example, my collection is going to be called on sale. And I can also set some featured image. So, Alright, so now that I have set my image, I'm going to put at the content section. Maybe I just want to highlight what this sale um, is all about. So let's say it's a clearance sales. Just a short one. It depends on how you want it to, how long you want it to be. I'm just going to keep it like that. And then in terms of the search engine optimization, again, what we want to do is make sure that our URL handle and meta description is optimized so with um, keywords that can actually capture your customer's attention. So it can be keywords to highlight the specific products or even um, to describe what this collection is all about, right? So in terms of the visibility, you can actually change it here. So whether or not you want to publish or, you know, launch it at a specific time. Let's say you have a, a 9 9 sale and you want it to only be published on your website on 9 9 12 a.m. Then you can actually set that all here, right? So once we're done, we're going to click the save button. So with that, our first step is done. We have created the collection. So as mentioned, there's two steps. For the second step, how are we going to add the products in is that we will first need to go to all products. So now I'm going to go ahead and tick all the items that I'm going to add to my on sale collection. And as you can see on this top bar right here, there is a collection button. I'm going to click on that and it's actually going to show you the list of collections that are available, which you have already set up. As you can see, I actually have that on sale collection right here and I'm going to assign those products to my collections. All right, with that, it says done. Let's go to our online store and see how it looks. So as you can see here on my website under catalog, I have my new product collection called on sale with the picture that I have chose as my collection image and also the description together with the products that I have added in. And then you may wonder, what if I have, you know, a lot of different collections under my on sale. So let's say under on sale, I want to have one just for lighting, one for my textile and decor, one for my wall decor. How am I going to set all these different categories? So it's actually very simple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag, for example, my lighting. I'm going to hover it on top of the on sale where the whole bar actually becomes blue. And with that, you actually created a sub collection. So if I'm going to look at this on my web store, let me refresh, it's going to look something like that. And of course, if I were to add my other sub collections under on sale as well, it would all appear together. So it's actually very helpful um, for you to also provide more categories and also allows your customers to know exactly what they want from here. Right, so to delete a collection, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the title and on the top corner here, you're going to see a dustbin icon. So very straightforward, just click delete. And you want to click delete and with that, the collection has been deleted. Alright, so that's all for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!